Now this next portion that Jesus is going to share about is going to seem a little bit odd to you because it talks about being the gatekeeper, the person who is overseeing the gate for the sheep. We don't think about being a shepherd and yet at the same time many of us are shepherds but we have to also understand it's not just about being a shepherd, it's also about taking care of the gate. So when Jesus is sharing in John chapter 10, it may not make a lot of sense to you because our culture is a little bit different. Our culture does not have shepherds. Our culture does not have very many sheep farmers. Our culture does not walk with a flock behind us. And yet, this culture did, which is why he uses this analogy. But you may be a gatekeeper in areas that you don't even realize. You may be a gatekeeper as a boss, as a parent, as a spouse, as a neighbor. You may be someone who allows the sheep in, but then at the beginning of the day, you lead the sheep out. And that's the idea behind the gatekeeper. See, at this time, the flocks were led into an area where there were multiple walls around to keep the flock safe at night. But someone had to guard the gate. And so the shepherd would literally lay himself down in front of the gate so that the sheep felt safe and they wouldn't walk over him at night and he could protect him. There was one way in and there was one way out, and that was through the gatekeeper. So when Jesus talks about being that gatekeeper, when he talks about covering the front of that pen, it's because the only way in and out was through him. And many times in our lives, the only way in and out is through us as well. If we take our role and our walk seriously, as a Christian, as a spouse, as a parent, as a coworker, where is it in your life that you are the gatekeeper?